I'm gonna say action. Action. So, he's so good. He is. What's up, Brian? How you doing? Good. How are you, Brian? Dude, how fast is the fedora making? Generally, you, I get that a lot. You actually, you have a lot more pink. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you were being serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is his manly look. So, do you have a good time? Yeah, always a good time. Yeah. Nice. What, uh, what bikes did you bring out? Um, I had uh, my 450 and my 105. All right, sweet. So, what's the what's your riding background? Where'd you start? Um, actually, don't have a ton of riding experience other than street. So, um, before I started riding on the track, I rode street for 15 years. So. Okay, so that that's pretty long time. Yeah, like, I've been, I have yeah. no experience. I just <laughs> spent 15. Yeah, I've been riding a long time. I'm in canyons. Riding on the but... street. You had a, uh, I remember you had a gold Hayabusa with a, with a stretched the stretched swing thing on arm, crumb. Right? Yeah, crumb you had that. Yeah. And then you, and then you followed up with the uh, the bike that had the eight hangers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I really like the eight hangers. Cool. They're they good look... when you're braking. Yeah. Wait, what you was your first track experience? experience? What brought you? Um, actually, with you was my first track experience. Oh, okay. So. Cool. Oh, nice. Have you done any like sport bike schools or? I have not. Yeah. I've done Rich Oliver's. Um, I've done your class. Oh, nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it for classes. Wow, that's cool. We talked to Scott earlier today, and one of the main things we have, we're totally spoiled here. It's uh, 70 degrees, and we just had basically a perfect uh, track day out here. Yeah, perfect. Um, the weather is, yeah, amazing. And then we have, locally, we have three car tracks. We have the Superbike School, who runs out of Willow Springs. We got Rich Oliver's. Um, up near, kind of near Fresno, yeah, Fresno yeah. Close, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're completely spoiled. Everybody signs up in the summer. I'd highly recommend to come out and do the school in the winter. Summer's fine too, it's just hot. So cool, how many times do you do the school? I've done the school three times now. Three so, times. Once Same. by myself, I, I built my first street supermoto uh -huh. and I didn't want to come out here and look like an asshole, so yeah. I came out to the class first. Still, I'm still like an, an asshole, asshole. <laughs> but at least it, it gave me a chance to know how to get on and off the track and learn some basics, which yeah. I mean, awesome. But this thing, fucking awesome. Um, so let's just go over uh, go over the bike. Let's, tell me what, how it started, what year it is, what model it is, what mods you did, which is going to take a while because you did a lot. <laughs> it's a 2019 KTM 450S XF. So it's the motocross bike, so it's full travel. Um, Everyone goes, why did you get a KTM instead of an FS? Um, I had a 2017 FS before that had everything done to it. And uh, I just wanted something different, really. So. All right. And then there was a lot of stuff because- Have you actually compared lap times? Like, I, I'm about the same. About the the same. fancy stuff didn't make me any faster, but I'm, yeah. it keeps me off the pavement. Yeah. It really yeah. does. Like, I haven't crashed this You don't bike. want to wreck it, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, so, I'm fine with wrecking it. It this, just, I have to go to work on Monday to right. pay my mortgage. I so. borrow everybody's bike. And I ride, I probably rode this. Yeah, you but, rode it, yeah. Yeah, but I ride, like, I'm like, dude, you that's so You said it was um, you, you, yeah, the what scariest say, thing that you've ever ridden. Really? Yeah. I said this was You the said the only thing it does good is wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> so this bike sucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This bike's just too good for me. Um, but uh, we talk about that all the time. There's, there's mods. There's mods that make the bike faster. There's mods that make you faster. And uh, a lot of times people are doing it. Like, we're going to have a, kind of that as a theme going through. Uh, what we want to do is actually take out stock bikes, modded bikes, compare lap times, um, because I think so many people focus on what is fast for pros right. and confuse that with what's good what's for them. Happen. Like if they're on a sport bike with a leg dangle, <laughs> they're not getting fast no. enough, right? No. Rossi faster, yeah. Arquez faster, you not. Slower. Probably. Slower. <laughs> Just and, like backing it in. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, exactly, like backing it in. Pros that back it in properly, you know, they yeah. can carry speed, they can get the bike rotated, and they can get on throttle earlier. You get a lot of guys that we ride with every weekend backing it in, and they're just parking it at the apex. And Ninety-five percent of riders who are backing in are slowing themselves down by doing so. Um, and I, I put myself in that category at least half the time. I do too, so, but it's fun to do. Yeah, so. yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you know that's what we're here for. All right, so then uh, let's start to go over the uh, mods. The biggest thing I think for me on this bike, the engine's completely stock. Um, I haven't done anything. It's got um, the Tecmo dual exhaust. Really? I mean, this thing is. Like this is that, remember, that's what I was accusing you of in a cheer. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because this thing was like just all over, the, lifting the wheel all yeah, over the place. It's a wheeling, it's a, I call it a unicycle. Yeah, yeah. So it's got the Tecmo dual exhaust. Um, there's a Tecmo, or there's a K KMTR Ram Air on the side that you can't see. Um, KMTR, for people that don't know, 
builds like Lewis Cornish's bike, some top level European bikes. So most of the parts on this bike were developed by them. So everything kind of works together. You're, you're as fast as they are. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even as fast as Scott. <laughs> um, but so there was things that I liked and wanted um, after I built, I built a bunch of supermotos over the last three years. And so I knew exactly what I wanted when I built this bike. I wanted Behringer's because I've never had as good a brake feel other than on Behringer's. I yeah. had Brembo's on all my old bikes. And it, it doesn't it come down to that, right? Like, yeah. It's, it's so much more about yeah. feel than it is about I rode anything Tunes, else. Yeah, I rode Tunes' bike on Behringer's and lanyard suspension, and I, it easily was faster than I was on the bike in the first session. And I was like, well, I feel comfortable right away. I found that with tires. Yeah, like, tires. There's tires that you can have that have the exact grip. Yeah. And there's one that you, right. that you like a feedback better than. And yeah, we talked about that a lot today, actually, to about the Metzlers versus the Michelins versus the Dunlops. Mm -hmm. And everyone has a different opinion of what, yeah. what works. And what they'll they'll like. see the same. Yeah. 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 Right, um, cool. But yeah, the biggest thing for me on this bike was the Tecmo Swinger. My old FS was basically the same bike as this. zoom in on the Swinger and uh, just appreciate its glory. <laughs> well, that, is, that, is the most, right? that is the most gorgeous Isn't swing arm I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, not only does it look cool, but it actually works amazing. We should get them to sponsor, and then they, we could put these like... Put those on the really, DRZs? On the DRZs. <laughs> that would be amazing. We should just have these like tractors, put these most gorgeous <laughs> swing arms on there. We, That'd be come awesome. Come take the class, we have these beautiful works of <laughs> art that you can ride around. <laughs> Talk about what uh, races, what series that you're doing. Um, I raced, last year I raced uh, Yomare, um, and... Um, Tell me what Yomare is. Yomare is um, mini mini racing, so that's why I have the 105, and then they added a 450 class, so yeah. we raced that this year. So, yeah, as a side note, I always tell people if you have a mini, something like a KX65 or a CRF 150R, and you have a 450 Supermoto, you can practically race every yeah, weekend. Every, yeah. Because the minis have a Supermoto class, Supermoto races have mini classes. A lot of times, riders will have a mini in order to ride more sessions. In order, basically, in that's order what to I. Yeah, exactly. that was a big so, part of it. So that you can get really kind of cooled off yeah. if you're just sitting around waiting yeah. for your heat. So I would race. I'd race three classes. Yeah. In them, so it, heats, practice heats, mains. So it's a lot of racing. Yeah. So. What about practice? Do you win practice? Oh, only out, yeah. only out here. Only out here. Especially if I ride at the school. Yeah. <laughs> So if uh, come out and do the school, and if you don't want to do the school, then just come out and you can just win practice. Uh, it's great, yeah. feel like a hero. Oh yeah, if you have a fast bike and you want to go out and feel like you're a fast <laughs> rider, go ride with the school. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then what would your advice be to people that want to ride super? I, I, like I did, I think buying, coming out, and I give people the same advice all the time, um, come out and take the class. For $280, you, you can't have more fun. Like, it's so accessible, it's so, it's such good training. And you're gonna learn. Even if you think you know everything, you're gonna learn when you. There's, there's got to be something. I mean, when we have guest instructors yeah. come out, I usually pick up yeah. something that I didn't. Yeah. That I didn't know before. And that wasn't a setup. I, I give advice the same way, which is like if it was my brother or my, yeah. what I would. Yeah. People, new riders ask me at work or anyone I yeah. talk to, and I'm like, go take the class. Like, yeah. Really take, go take, take this the class. class. Yeah. Take other classes. Take like, other classes. Take Rich Oliver's. Take Rich Oliver's. Yeah. Take a super bike school. We're taking um, Rich Oliver's in March. That'll be the third time I've taken that class too, and it, it's amazing. Top notch facility. Top -notch Everybody, same thing. Everybody comes from uh, Rich's class. And, you know, they, basically, you look at his photos. They all have SoCal Supermoto yeah. stuff on, and here they all have Rich Oliver stuff. Yeah, yeah so it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's always always something to learn, always something to do faster. Yeah, and, and that sort of stuff. Any other advice besides? Uh, have fun. Have that's, fun. I mean, that's why I'm doing it. I'm not. Yeah. This isn't going anywhere for me. Not, I'm not going to be a pro. You're not making Supermoto a lot of money, and, and I'm not making any money. Yeah, the cash isn't rolling. <laughs> yeah, up. but uh, today, especially, I rode with a friend of mine I haven't got to ride with in a long time, and I had the most fun today riding both bikes that I've had in the cool. But it's always fun. Yeah. Every day at the track is a good day. I've been doing uh, coming out to the track for ten years, uh, almost every weekend out here, riding the same track, same bikes, and. It's still fun, yeah. and I can't explain. It. Yeah, you know, I'm not any faster. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not racing, and I'm just I'm just running laps. But that's why I always tell people to come out and take the school because you're gonna get hooked. You're gonna one day on the school, and you're gonna you're gonna want to buy a supermoto or take it again. I don't know. I'm, yeah. uh, the other thing is, if you have a supermoto, um, 
I didn't have any instruction, and I did things wrong for years. So a lot of times, just one it. day at a motocross school, the other schools that we mentioned, this school, it can take care of all these standard mistakes. Like when people come in, they come from sport bikes. I always kind of joke like I don't need to watch them. Like, yeah. I know everything you know you're going to do wrong at the first couple hours. Um, certainly. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's so much muscle memory that you have to unlearn and yeah. learn new techniques. So we're new to doing the vlog thing. I always, I'm always, the, the things I'm asking you is what I always ask riders when I meet them at the track. I wanna know what bikes are running and what they like, what they don't like. And we always trade bikes and, and that sort of thing. So we wanted to kind of bring that um, to the vlog. But if there's anything we're missing, if you have any questions, um, please do us a favor, do the like and subscribe thing. And uh, if you wanna comment on how dumb Brian's hat is or anything like that. <laughs> or um, how it's stupid that I or, spend so much money on yeah, a or maybe, dirt bike. Or they need more pink uh, more going pink, on. Uh, please comment below and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Um, we'd love to help you out. And um, thanks so much, man. Yeah. Thank right you. on, dude. Yeah. I'll see you like next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>